And welcome to Men's Basketball Media Day. We're going to start off with uh, Stephen Rogers. We've got 16 player interviews. Brandon Davies is not available for interview yet. And so no Davies, but everyone else on the team we're going to chat with today as we have Men's Basketball Media Day. Throughout the day, uh, we'll be live right here in the Marriott Center uh, with me, Jerem Jordan, doing some interviews. And uh, there'll be different activities on the court right now. They're cleaning the court. I think women's basketball is going to practice. Eventually, these guys are going to, are going to do a run through in the afternoon. So should be a lot of fun. If you have questions for the players, you can post those on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Sports. So welcome to the first webcast with uh, Stephen Rogers, junior forward, 6'8". Stephen, thanks for kicking things off. Absolutely. It's good to be here. It, think, it seems like the magical run last year just ended, but we're, we're back into things. You guys start practice Friday. What's that like? It's, it's unreal. You know, with the whole Greece trip this summer, it, it really, you know, made time kind of shorter for us uh, it's, it's been good though you know being able to be around the guys this much and and practicing with them and you know we're really excited to get the season underway what was that uh grease trip like for you guys because you had the the chance to gel as a team get some extra practice in i think 10 or so mm -hmm. did you also get to see the acropolis and all that kind yeah, of stuff and I play mean, some good games the trip was incredible we had a great time um you know kind of hanging out with each other getting to know each other on and off the court as well and uh, you know we, you know, a lot of us were in different positions than we normally play, and so we, we learned a lot more about you know each other's positions, and you know we just had a great time, enjoyed ourselves. You know the coaching staff it was fun to, to hang around them that much, them and their their wives, and you know get to know each other on a personal level as well. What did you learn about maybe one of your teammates or a coach that you didn't know through that grease trip? Um, our coaching staff, the, they can be goofs, that's for sure. You know we see them in such serious settings most times. You know they're. They're very, you know, business oriented. You know, they want us to do well and, and push us and things. Um, but they were a lot more relaxed that trip. You know, obviously it was, you know, it was, it was basketball time when it was, you know, time to play. But, um, you know, when we were at the Acropolis and doing some sightseeing, you know, they were much more relaxed. And, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun to, to see them on that kind of level. What's Mark Pope like? New assistant coach, a guy that I, I watched in the 90s that played for Kentucky when they uh, beat Utah. Coach Pope is awesome. You know, he uh, he connects very well with the players. You know, the day he got in, you know, until now, he's he's been trying to connect with us. You know, on a personal level as well as, as basketball. Um, he's very smart, basketball-wise, and uh, you know, we're just fortunate to have him. It was a busy summer for you too, as well, because you got married in April, right after the season. What was, I guess, how busy was that for you as you had that magical season, then got married? It was crazy. I mean, last spring was it was a lot of fun, but you know, very busy. You know, with with school, basketball, and finals, and then getting married and everything. But um, it was great. I mean, it feels like a million years ago now, but it hasn't even been six months. So um, you know, it was it was an awesome year and, and one I'll never forget. I got a really good chuckle out of the Sports Illustrated cover where Jimmer is like eight feet off the ground, and you're in the corner with your hands wide open, like pass me the ball. There's no way he's passing me the ball in there. <laughs> No, I, I've gotten many comments about that, actually. You know, people, they, they think it's pretty funny how, you know, there, I think there was actually a comment somebody made on a blog talking about that, how, mm -hmm. you know, there's no reason to have my hands up in the air and the ball's not coming my, my way anyways. But you made the cover. I did. Do you have a copy? I do, actually. Okay. Yeah, my parents made sure <laughs> know, that. that I have a copy. So, yeah. Once again, if you have a question for Stephen Rogers, you can post that on our Facebook page, facebook.com. Slash BYU TV Sports. Richard Muse in Utah says, What do you see as your role in the offense as the team's finding its identity without Jackson and Jimmer? You've got a great free throw percentage. Keep it up. Glad, to, glad you came to BYU. Uh, well, this year, you know, last year I, was, I felt like I was kind of the utility man. I tried to you know, do what I can where I could. Um, you know, this year, hopefully I'll be more, you know, a part of that. You know, obviously with Jackson and Jimmer leaving, there's a lot of offense to make up. Um, you know, and I feel like I'm, I'm a pretty good scorer, and you know, there's a lot that I can do to, to help this team this year. Um, you know, and obviously, hopefully, I'll keep my, my free throw percentage up as well. How much more of a score do you think you'll be w with that offense to make up? Uh, hopefully, you know, a considerable amount. You know, we have a lot of good players coming back and a lot of good players coming in. Um, you know, we're really excited about this season, but you know, as far as my personal expectations, I, I feel that I should be a, you know, a pretty sizable contributor. Clue us into what the summer is like for the men's basketball team because you have sort of this transition of you have Kyle Collinsworth going to mission, Jimmer and Jacks graduate, but sometimes you still play pickup games with them, and then there are other guys who come in and play. So I guess who have you played with, and how often do you play during the summer? Uh, well, we played 
as often as we can, you know, obviously with, with school and stuff, we try and, and work out and play as much as we can. Um, you know, we play with all sorts of different guys. I mean, a variety of guys come through and play with us from UVU to ex-players. You know, obviously we have Lee and Trent and, and those guys come back and play with us and they were, you know, going to Greece, it was cool because they were able to, I mean, they even um, got in some practices with us and, um, you know, it was Before great to, Yeah, before, before we went to Greece, they, they were here with us and so, you know, this summer was, was different than I think most summers because of Greece, obviously, but, um, you know, we just play as much as we can and, you know, whoever will come play with us, we play. Once again, we're with Steven Rogers of the BYU men's basketball team. If you have a question for him, post it on Facebook.com slash BYU TV Sports. Uh, you're number 21. Why 21? Uh, I don't know. You know, I was, it was actually, available. Well, I, I, well, I guess the only really, the only real reason I chose it was in high school. I was 40, and you know, all my life I've been 40. But um, when I left Arizona State, you know, I felt like. I needed a change, and so when I went to, to Mesa Community College, you know, I just was trying to think of a different number, and um, I think I wore 21 on my club team one year, and so I just decided that, you know, why not give it a shot? So, did you play at Arizona State? I thought it was just Mesa Community College. Well, I, I redshirted at Arizona State. Okay. So. Was that pre-mission? No, I was after my mission. After your mission, okay. Yeah. Then Mesa Community College, then BYU last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The things you learn on here. I didn't, I didn't know that. It was fantastic. Yeah. So, so immediately last year, the fans embraced you and brought the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood signs and stuff. Then I go see Captain America, and it's Steve Rogers. And I thought, There's another one. Do you have a preference? Do you have another nickname we can use with you? Well, I mean, obviously Captain America is a little bit cooler than the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. <laughs> um, but, you know, either one works for me. I mean, I've, the Captain America, I don't think very many people knew that his name was Steve Rogers. So mm -hmm. now that that's out and everybody knows... You know, I'm sure that'll be kind of a theme around here, but you know, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, that's a classic. I've heard that my whole life, so either one works. Okay. The West Coast Conference, uh, how big a change will that be, and how exciting is that for you to, to play in a different conference, have a new, a new look there? Um, well, I'm excited. I actually, coming out of high school, I signed with the University of San Diego. So I originally was going to be in the West Coast Conference, so I, I know, you know quite a bit about it. I, I think it's a great basketball conference, and you know, we're really excited. There's some great teams in there, and it's going to be a tough, tough year, you know, adjusting to, to the new schedule and things like that. But, you know, we're excited, and, and any time you enter a new conference, you just got to come in, you know, expecting to win, and that's exactly what we're doing. How in the heck do you land at BYU then, if you go to San Diego, <laughs> Arizona State, Mesa Community College, and BYU? That's a great question. Um, when I was on my mission, uh, both Arizona State and San Diego got coaching changes, mm -hmm. and so I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and um, Arizona State contacted me and, you know, coming home off a mission after two years, it sounds nice staying home, you know, that's kind of what you want to do. You haven't seen everybody for two years. So I decided to stay home and I redshirted that year and after that year I realized that's not where I wanted to be. And so I went to Arizona State where I, or to Mesa Community College where I had a great time. I absolutely loved it. My coaching staff was amazing. My teammates were awesome. And it's kind of where I fell back in love with, with the game of basketball. And then so, you know, I, I played one year there and had, you know, options to go other places. And ultimately, this is where I wanted to be. Once again, we're with Steven Rogers of the BYU men's basketball team. If you have a question for him, post it on Facebook.com slash TV Sports. It's on the screen right there. We're live in the Marriott Center at Men's Basketball Media Day. So, Jim Ren Jackson, Kyle Collinsworth, no more of them. We, we fold the chapter. We enter the West Coast Conference era. You have a new look on the court. That West Coast Conference logo looks really good on the court, by the it way. Does. What do you think of this new court? I, I love the new court. The new court's awesome. You know, we had a chance to, to play on it before Greece and stuff, and I mean, it's it's awesome. I mean, the Marriott Center itself is a great place to play. I'm extremely fortunate to, to be able to play here, and so, you know, it's it's nice to, to be back in here. We'll get to know some of these newcomers uh, in the freshman and return missionaries, Marcus Harrison and Ian Harward and Nate Austin, these guys. But tell us a little bit about some of these guys and who's impressed you as you played with them. Um, well, they've, they've all impressed me, actually. Um, you know, the return missionaries, you know, I, I went through that stage and know how that goes. And it's tough. You know, that first summer back is a killer. But, you know, they've stuck it out and worked really hard. And, you know, as well as Josh Sharp, um, you know, they've, they've played really well. And, you know, we're excited to have them. They'll, they'll contribute, you know, to our team greatly. Um, you know, and Demarcus Harrison, he's very athletic, very skilled. Freshman, so you know we're, we're 
glad to have him as well, and you know he'll be a, a big contributing factor as well. Who's going to play the point? Matt Carlino can't play until December 17th, and he's one of several guys competing for that spot. Yeah, it's, I, I mean, that's a great question. I think we're kind of in the middle of trying to figure that out as we speak. Um, you know, it'll just be between now and, you know, the start of the season is kind of when everything is hashed out and figured out. So, mm -hmm. you know, it'll just be a process of, of time, I guess. How versatile can you be and do you want to be? Because BYU could play you at the four and have four shooters on the court or, or play at the three or even the two, right? Yeah, I mean, I, a lot, you know, this time of year we have skill groups where we work out in different positions and, you know, I've been at the two, three, and four and, you know, I played the four in Greece and so, you know, I think the two, three, and four I'll be able to play, you know, all three of those this year and, and try and do what I can from each, each position. Is the worst part about, part about playing the four that you have to inbound the ball? Because you have to defend, and then you got to be that guy that it's actually true. hustles. I, I always good. tell no. I'm like, man, you got to be in good shape to really get the ball in and then, you know, get down the court as quick as, can, as you can to get involved. Once again, with Stephen Rogers, you have a question? Post it on Facebook.com slash Sports. What are you looking forward to the most with this upcoming season? Um, just to get it started. You know, this time of year you just get so antsy, and, you know, you're anticipating the season and, and what it has to bring. So, you know, we're just excited to get started and, and get things underway. Is it a fair assessment that Gonzaga is going to be the natural rival in the West Coast Conference, you think? I think it's, you know, if you had to choose one, I'd, you know, I'd, obviously they're a great team year in and year out. And so, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll be right up there with them and competing with them every year. What other opponents on the schedule sort of pique your interest as, as you look at the schedule as a whole? Um, well, St. Mary's is obviously is a great team as well. Um, you know, all the teams in the conference are, are good teams, and we're gonna have to play well to, to beat them. So, um, you know, I don't think there's one in particular that you know piques my interest. Okay, finally, who's the best three-point shooter on the team? Oh, me, by far. Okay, fantastic, <laughs> Stephen Rogers. Thanks a lot. We'll be back in a moment with Josh Sharp.